you know, some people just, uh, they just don't like this belly fat thing. They want it gone. So today we're going to talk about the 10 foods that can help a person lose belly fat. So let's dive right in. What is belly fat? It's visceral fat. Okay. And here's a book I want to show you right here. Siba, the Siba collection, Frank Netter. And this one is on the endocrine system. And we have this little chapter right here, which talks about cortisol. Okay. You see this picture right here? That's belly fat and that's too much cortisol. So first let's talk about the relationship between cortisol and belly fat. Cortisol turns protein into sugar. Okay. So it causes your liver to make new sugar out of non-carbohydrate things like fat, ketones, protein. So if your cortisol is really high, that's a stress hormone, you're going to need quick sugar being created. So your body's going to be making a lot of sugar. So people that have high cortisol, a lot of times are not eating sugar. It's their bodies making sugar out of other things. And that increase in sugar elevates insulin. Okay. People can even become a diabetic if they have too much cortisol. And this is why one of the side effects of a prednisone, where someone's taking a synthetic cortisol uh, is diabetes. So the reason why someone has belly fat or visceral fat from cortisol has to do with that hormone, which is making sugar, which is then increasing insulin. So really what's happening is we're getting the spike of insulin and insulin makes belly fat because it's a fat storing hormone. So whether your insulin spike is coming from eating a high carb diet or sugar or increase in cortisol, or you're eating too frequently as in having a lot of snacks, you can develop excessive belly fat. Now the belly fat usually occurs after the liver is fatty because a lot of the visceral fat that's around the organs is occurring because there's a spillover from your liver. So if you have belly fat, like you're looking down right now and you can't see your feet, that means your liver has a lot of fat in it. And now it's spilling over into other areas around the body because there's only so much space in the liver. So knowing that information, the top foods that will help you with that have to address either lowering insulin, lowering cortisol, or helping you with a fatty liver. And some people, as I go through the list, are going to be surprised when I talk about eating certain fats, because you would think you would need to avoid fat if you want to get rid of a fatty liver or fat around your midsection, but that's actually not true. So let's start with number one, eggs. Okay. What's an egg that can help you with your midsection weight? Well, number one, they have virtually no carbohydrates. Okay. And that means we're not going to stimulate insulin. And because it's a good source of protein, in fact, the best source of protein, you're not going to get near as much waste as glucose, okay? Because if you're eating too much protein, especially the wrong type of protein, that can actually turn into sugar too. So eggs are right up there as the highest quality protein that you can consume. And when a protein is low carb, it triggers the opposing hormone to insulin, and that's called glucagon. And glucagon helps you burn fat. Two, eggs are loaded with lecithin. So lecithin helps break down fat in your liver. Eggs are also loaded with choline, which is also a good uh, fat dissolver for your liver. All right, number two, salmon. Now, what's so special about salmon? Salmon is very high in omega-3 fatty acids. It's one of the foods that has the most omega-3 fatty acids, okay? And omega-3 fatty acids do two things. It helps to reduce insulin by making insulin more sensitive. And it also helps you reduce cortisol and it's virtually zero carbohydrate. All right, number three, cod liver or cod liver oil. If you've never consumed cod liver oil, you may or may not like it. I like the taste. You have to try it sometime. It comes in a can. It looks like one of those sardine cans, but it has cod liver in it. And I think it's actually really good. So cod liver is just like, like mostly fat and with some protein, but it's super high in omega-3 fatty acids which can help you make insulin more sensitive and also reduce cortisol. But you can also do the cod liver oil too, but some people don't like the cod liver oil burps, so you can get them in capsules. Okay, number four, sauerkraut. So how can sauerkraut help you? Well, number one, it has the ability to increase liver function. And there's been some interesting research that it can help reduce fat on your liver. 
It's a really good anti-inflammatory. The fiber can help feed the microbiome, which then turns into a real interesting type of fat that's very similar to a ketone and be a source of fuel. Now, sauerkraut also has probiotics. And so when you consume these great probiotics uh, through the fermentation process, that alone can help you lose weight because we have the microbes now working for us. And sauerkraut out of all the foods has the most vitamin C. One cup of sauerkraut could contain up to 700 milligrams of vitamin C. I mean, that's just amazing. And your adrenals, the gland that makes cortisol, needs vitamin C as a real key nutrient to support itself as you go through stress. Out of all the vitamins that the adrenal needs, uh, vitamin C is at the top of the list. All right, number five, cruciferous vegetables. That would be like kale, broccoli, Brussels sprouts, arugula, which I love. There are certain phytonutrients in cruciferous to help a fatty liver. The minerals, specifically potassium and magnesium in those vegetables are really good to help lower stress and help you reduce cortisol and help you sleep. And also potassium is one of the most important minerals to help reduce insulin. I just did a video on that. And of course, magnesium is a like a physiological relaxer mineral. So it can help you feel calm and actually sleep. And then also the fiber from cruciferous vegetables that can help the microbiome because they live on fiber. All right, number six is hamburger. Now you might be thinking like, why is hamburger on the list? I'm not talking about the bun. I'm talking about a high quality fatty burger that doesn't have ketchup, that doesn't have fries as a side order. Hamburger is basically a combination of fat and red meat. And it's easier to digest sometimes than red meat that's a little bit leaner. And so that means it has even a lesser effect on insulin. And it's virtually zero carbohydrate. It's nutrient dense. It has a lot of vitamins and minerals. And I consume a lot of hamburger. In fact, uh, I feel really good, especially my blood sugars when I consume hamburger. But of course, make sure it's uh, grass-fed, grass-finished. All right, number seven, avocado. Uh, avocados have something called avocatin B. It's a certain uh, chemical in avocados that can help your blood sugars. It can help insulin be more sensitive. It can help reduce insulin resistance. And on top of that, it's really good for someone with a fatty liver. Avocado is a, a really good uh, ketogenic uh, vegetable because of its fat. It has a lot of fat and it's extremely low carb and it's a vegetable. So you should combine the avocado with a hamburger with a little sauerkraut on top. All right, number eight, broccoli sprouts. Now you can use other sprouts, but broccoli sprouts have a lot of the sulforaphane. That's the phytonutrient that's really good for cancer, but it's also really good for reducing visceral fat. Okay, there's one study. Yes, it was on mice, but it did show a 20% reduction in fat from the midsection of a mouse, as well as reduction of liver fat. So if you have some pet mice or gerbils or hamsters, definitely start feeding them broccoli sprouts. Broccoli sprouts or other, any sprouts in general are actually pretty nutrient dense. Um, the, the most nutrition in a plant occurs in the sprouting stage, not necessarily when the vegetable uh, becomes an adult plant. All right, number nine is asparagus, okay? Now, asparagus has something in it called asparagin, and that is a certain chemical, a natural chemical that helps to detoxify ammonia from your liver. Ammonia is a byproduct from protein. And so if the liver is damaged and you're building up ammonia, definitely consume asparagus. But this phytonutrient also helps with blood sugars. It helps with insulin resistance. It makes insulin more sensitive. So you're gonna have less insulin. Plus the fiber in the asparagus is really good for the gut. It'll feed the microbiome which will then help your blood sugars from another angle. Not to mention it's very high in fiber and low in actual sugars. All right, number 10, nutritional yeast. Now, make sure you get the nutritional yeast that's not fortified with synthetic vitamins, okay? Because a lot of times they'll, they'll put these synthetic vitamins that are they're basically from petroleum. They're very low quality, cheap vitamins. But a lot of companies, when they produce the um, yeast, when they ferment it, they throw in these synthetics and apparently the yeast eat them and you spike the B complex. 
but you really don't need to do that. You just need to get nutritional yeast that's unfortified. You can either get them in tablets or you can get them in a powder and you can put them on your salad, which is really tasty because it has a little bit of a Parmesan taste to it, you know, with your olive oil and your vinaigrette. And here you are having this uh, nutritional yeast that will not only give you the B vitamins to help a fatty liver, but it will also give you a lot of B1 to help reduce cortisol and stress. So if we combine some of these foods in our salad, we have the magnesium, we have the potassium, we have the fiber, we have the phytonutrients, we have the nutritional yeast in there. Maybe we put a little avocado in there. And then the side, we have a burger with sauerkraut. One of the perfect meals to help you lose belly fat. All right, now that we talked about the foods to eat, let's now talk about the foods to avoid, which is just as important. I put them right here, check it out. 